गुड मॉर्निंग आई एम डॉक्टर सुनील गुप्ता आई एम डायबिटोलॉजिस्ट एट नागपुर एंड आई एम आई वॉज द फर्स्ट पास प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ डायबिटीज इन प्रेगनेंसी स्टडी ग्रुप इंडिया डिप्सी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी टू एंड आई एम आई एम हियर टू टॉक टू यू ऑन प्रेगनेंसी डायबिटीज दैट हाउ मच इम्पॉर्टेंट इट इज let me make you understand and possibly those who are not aware they will be uh, shocked to know the figure that every fourth or fifth pregnant woman i repeat every fourth or fifth pregnant woman in india might be having some kind of glucose intolerance in pregnancy and that is called as hyperglycemia in pregnancy and it has been recommended that every women in the anc clinic irrespective of the weeks of the pregnancy whether it's first trimester second trimester or third trimester should be subjected for the glucose challenge test they should be given 75 g glucose take two hour test and if it is more than 140 should be classified as gestational diabetes if it is more than 200 should be classified as pre gestational diabetes and this umbrella term is called as hyperglycemia in pregnancy so hip or hyperglycemia in pregnancy is subdivided into two one is gestational diabetes which typically appears in pregnancy and disappears in most of the cases after delivery and second case pre gestational diabetes which is being called as dip diabetes in pregnancy which actually could be a pre existing type 1 or type 2 by diabetic women becoming pregnant or some women diagnosed for the first time during pregnancy but are clinically having pre existing uh, uh, diabetes so these are the women with a dip uh, category so gdm category usually appears after 24 weeks of pregnancy in india it comes even after 20 weeks and it has been told it has been diag- seen that almost uh, 20% of the women might be appearing as gdm in the first trimester and uh, very important is please remember this first 6 to 8 weeks of pregnancy is a pregnancy which is a period of organogenesis all your organs including your brain your uh, your uh, eyes your hands your upper limbs lower limbs your heart all big organs are being produced or already formed by 8 to 10 weeks of pregnancy or 6 to 8 weeks of pregnancy and and any high blood glucose during this period might lend into the uh, organogenesis problem and teratogenicity and some of the congenital malformations in these babies and that is why all women of the reproductive age should be warned that they should be keeping their blood glucose checked before getting conceived and immediately after 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 conception if they are been negative in the first before conception so on those days that when we used to test women at in the second and the third trimester now we should be testing in the, in the first given opportunity one and if you have a positive family history i'll re, i'll appeal though the recommendation might say something else but i'm telling you very very seriously please note it down that every women of a child bearing age when they are getting married and with a positive family history please check your blood glucose at the time of before you getting conceived because we are seeing many cases who are being diagnosed as gestational di- uh, pregnancy diabetes in the very first trimester having pre existing diabetes and it, and the and the things become difficult when your doctor says your hb1c is high at the time of conception and this woman will have high risk of having congenital malformation this is very very important for every one of you now you should try to achieve blood glucose of fasting 90 two hour post meal should be less than 120 my many of them will respond well gdm will respond well to only medical nutrition therapy and rest of them might need pharmacotherapy like insulin many women need met, uh, are being given metformin if there is no complicated pregnancy no iugr no pih no preeclampsia such women with with normal pregnancy can be given even metformin for for gestational diabetes others will need insulin Insulin remains the drug of choice for metformin can be allowed in many of the cases multiple medical nutrition therapy is is good for almost 70% of the gestational diabetes women when it comes to pre gestational type 1 diabetes all of them will need insulin therapy pre gestational type 2 diabetes they also will need insulin therapy as a choice but some of them may be given metformin in addition 
if there is high level of insulin resistance what you want is good glycemic control at the time of delivery try to keep blood glucose between 70 to 120 at the time of delivery and if you do so the risk of neonatal hypoglycemia is reduced after delivery almost 90 to 95 percent of the women will become normal in gestational diabetes and they will need to be keep a follow-up as a postpartum case for prevention of diabetes in future they should be motivated for breastfeeding breastfeeding is important for prevention of postnatal obesity and metabolic syndrome and also good for the future of the of the baby who's born to these mothers all type 1 and type 2 diabetes will go back to their original treatment except that breastfeeding during breastfeeding again insulin remains the drug of choice but few people those who don't want to take insulin can be given even metformin or glipizide as as a drug uh, for glucose control why insulin is the best drug in pregnancy diabetes because insulin doesn't cross the placenta all oral drugs they cross the placenta and it might have a problem with the in the fetus if if they are not safe and that is why it's only metformin and other countries it is only glebenclimide is also being approved for its use after 24 weeks of pregnancy but for this practical purpose when it comes to pregnancy diabetes first thing is every woman should be screened if detected put them on medical nutrition therapy if they don't achieve their good glycemic control in two weeks time put them on pharmacotherapy as pregnancy advances blood sugar goes up and the medicine or the insulin dose may need to be modified and increased till delivery and that is should be your motto if you control blood glucose well preconceptionally during conception during pregnancy till delivery you are giving a wonderful environment to the baby and these babies are likely to be protected from developing diabetes obesity and metabolic syndrome in their adult life in future so we are trying to practically protect the future generation by keeping the blood glucose detected early and treated early and keeping a good glycemic control during the, throughout the pregnancy so if you want to protect future generation you will have to act today and today and today with this particular motto i'll stop here all the best to you wish you all heavy, happy festivals who are coming to, in future Happy Navratra to you, uh, happy Dashehra to you, happy Deepavali to you, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and because we are sitting in Ahmedabad, happy Kite Festival to you in January. <laughs> With this I stop here. Thank you very much for, uh, for the kind attention.